Hey, John here, escaping the confines of my red corner. And this is Daniel interfering with John's unboxing video. I have to know what he got, so let's uh, roll the tape and let's find out. To bring you another awesome unboxing video. I got another box here. It's not as big as it looks because it's kind of close to the camera, but I got another box here. I released some orders from an online uh, board game retail outlet, and I'm Save not really sure time. what's in there because all it was was order numbers. And so I'm bringing... Wait, so once again, you bought something and you don't know what's inside it? John, we've talked about this. This is called an addiction. Breaking out the trusty knife here to cut open this box and discover what games came in the mail. I always like to find I out what games I, I ordered. at least one of them, but I'm not sure. There's four or five games in here that it's kind of like Christmas. So I thought we would kind of find out together, maybe enjoy it together. It'd be like a little Christmas morning. We'll see what we've got in Christmas the in July. box here. All right. No, I do agree. One of the cool things about being a board gamer is that board games always arrive at your house and it's like every day is Christmas. In that regard, it's a really great hobby. A lot of regards, but that's one of them. Let's see. All right, what's in there, John? Some bubble wrap because when you get it from a good online store, they wrap your games well. I know, right? If you get it from Amazon, First they just throw it in a bag. Here. We've got Ooh. Everybody Lies. The... I think it's a version of, yes, Detective Investigation System. So it's a version of the de Detective game. Okay, I approve. Where it's a co-op game, I believe, where you're trying to figure out something about crime. But this one takes place in Gotham City. So how cool is that? So it's got all the people from Gotham City in it there. Got some heroes and villains and whatnot. And I think you're working for Batman is how this works. And cool. so you're trying to find out basically who done it, I yeah. guess. I, I heard it was based on a true really story. Sure. I got it because I thought my kids might like it. So we'll see. Everybody lies. Looks pretty cool. That's awesome. What else do we got here? Here's something little. What do we have here? Uh, oh, District Noir. I forgot about this one. Okay. I think this one was on sale real cheap. When I bought another game, I think it was when I bought... It's one of the new hotness. Uh, Fox Experiment. I think there was oh. an ad for this game in there, and I said, that looks like a really cool game. Uh, it looks like the artwork is just like right up my alley. And I think it's supposed to be a simple uh, two-player game. Okay. And it looks it just looks really cool. So District Noir. I don't know if you've heard of that one or not, but it looks really awesome. So an advertisement inside a game got. actually got you to buy a game. How about that? Just a couple more. Not a whole lot. Not a big box. It's an awesome box. Not a big box. <laughs> what do we got here? Look at this one. Okay. Hollywood, 1947. It's one of those box games. I have to say, John, you are tr always trying to find the next great Hollywood game. I don't think it exists. I don't think this is going to be it. I've played one of these games. I think it's Salem. It wasn't great, so I don't have a lot of high hopes for this one. But hey, you like bad games, so maybe you'll like it. I can't remember the company that does it. Facade Games. I've got the Bristol one about uh, surviving the uh, plague. Oh, Those so you already cool. have one of these. Some people have the plague, and they don't want you to survive. And Hollywood <laughs> 1947, I think, takes place like during the Red Scare. So Ooh. somebody's a communist, and they're trying to implant... Uh, some shenanigans into the movies that you're making. So I love <laughs> games. I love the idea about a game about movie making, but I don't know if I've ever played one that I really liked. I'm no. hoping this will be one that I will like because the components are supposed to be cool. And it's one of these cool book bookshelf games. My second one of these bookshelf games. So cool uh, from facade games. It'll at least look good on the bookshelf, but Hey, if it's a board game about outing communists, I'm in. Let's get rid of those commies. America. And so it plays a whole bunch of people. And so I know it'll get played when we have people over. So that would be awesome. So Hollywood 1947 is game number three. I think there's only one left. I, I only one left? Come on. You're slacking, man. There, yeah, just the one. And then it's just a box. And look what we got here. Factory 42. Speaking of communism, <laughs> this is like communist gnomes, I believe, is what Factory 42 is like. And Tommy gnomes. I, I tried to get it in an auction recently at our uh, FPC Game Con, and I failed miserably. But then I found it really cheap, so I, I got go. it anyway. I love this little, it's got this cool, it looks like a dice tower or something. And I don't know, it, the components look amazing. The styling looks amazing. It's a semi-co-op. Am I going to like it if it's a semi-co-op? I don't know, yeah. but we'll find out. I'll go over the rules of it and see. I love the artwork. I mean, how can you not like the That is good artwork. It just looks amazing on this. But I, I love that we're in July. We just did our America episode, and you got two games about communists, John. I'm on to you, son. One and I got a fairly fairly good deal on it, so we'll see what happens with Factory Forty Two. So that that is it. That's the, it. That really not very big. No. Well, that's it. I thought it'd it's be bigger. Big. It's awesome. It's an awesome unboxing video. Is that Tell what you told what you her? Think. Are these any games that you would play? 
would you play them with me? If you know me, are we going to play these games? Let me know in the comments. I might but play Until next time, Batman. we'll see you around the board. Well, that was John's awesome unboxing, and that was my awesome commentary. We'll see you guys next time.